Hello friends! As promised, I am back here to share with you my hyperbaric oxygen chamber experience. I have vlogged the whole procedure, so I'm gonna start you off by that. Right at the end of the video, you're gonna get to see a professional talk about the benefits that the oxygen chamber has in the body. Not only for fibromyalgia, but for a lot of other diseases. So let's get to this and I'm gonna be talking while you see the video. I'll see you in a bit. So we start with the initial exam before we go into the chamber. They check your ears to see that they are in good condition to withstand the pressure in the cabin. After your ears are checked, you get your temperature taken. Then your blood pressure is taken. This is also an essential part of the initial exam. After that, for the final part of the exam, you get your pulse taken. And if everything is going good, they give you the okay to go into the chamber. I was given the okay. Then they put the anti-static bracelet and you're ready to go into the chamber. And here I go. Once you're inside, they make sure that you are comfortable and nothing is getting in the way from being able to close the chamber. And once you're at that, you give your okay. Here I'm saying hello. <laughs> and the cabin starts to depressurize. And they set a movie you want on Netflix. And then you just relax. I did have questions about what you feel inside the chamber. A lot of people seem to be either claustrophobic or do not like really close spaces. This is quite different. At least in the center where I went to get my oxygen treatment. The oxygen chamber is glass so you could see people walking by. You have a technician that's right next to you the entire time in case of anything. Uh, the only discomfort, discomforting feeling that you do get is at the beginning and at the end. Because there's an increase in pressure, you get a little bit of something very similar to the pressure that you feel when the plane is taken off and that's quite the amount of pressure that you're feeling in your ears. You just have to keep opening your mouth and swallowing a lot in order to, you know, get your ears to release some of the pressure that it's getting. Despite that, you get to relax, watch your movie, and that's it. That's the whole experience. It's quite relaxing. So I would say that the combination of therapies, including the oxygen, uh, therapy is very very beneficial and you will get to see results a little bit faster than if only doing one or the other so I would definitely recommend it and I am feeling just great after the therapy I'm feeling more alert less sleepy more energized as you guys know oxygen is a source of energy not only food there's two sources of energy one is food and one is oxygen and by being exposed to a higher percentage of oxygen, we are just getting tons of benefits to our body and we are getting energized at the same time. I would like to thank Dr. Roy in advance for all of his input and hard work to try to bring me back to health. Now I will leave you with a professional who will speak a little more about hyperbaric oxygen chamber. It's all about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and breathing oxygen under pressure and creating the benefit uh, for the body to uh, do its own healing and give it a chance to do that. And we do that by uh, increasing the uh, amount of oxygen that's available for all the cells. Oxygen is a fundamental molecule for the um, uh, energy process that all cells have to have in the body. In the hyperbaric chamber, we increase the pressure up to three atmospheres and that allows us to saturate the body. It takes about 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes to saturate, fully saturate the body, so you're in the chamber for about uh, 90 minutes to get the full benefit of it. It's important that you breathe the 100% oxygen. In the better chambers, you will have full exposure, oxygen will expose uh, the skin, and there will be a little bit of absorption there. But most importantly, there's no absorption of nitrogen. If you're in an air-filled chamber, like a diving chamber, you can have some air exposure and nitrogen uptake there. The benefit of it is that the immediate oxygenation of tissue that doesn't have benefit, that's very good in wound care, in uh, diabetes care, when we have poor circulation and recovery after stroke um, and heart attack, circulation we get extra oxygen to the tissue um, that the immediate effect 
more long-term effect is that we reduce uh, swelling, uh, so inflammation is brought down, and that can be very beneficial in uh, recovery from brain injuries, concussions, uh, soft tissue injuries from motor vehicle accidents or sports injuries. Uh, they will typically require a reduction of the inflammation, and oxygen therapy is very effective. Within a few sessions, we'll do that. The longer term effect is when you're in a therapy program of 10 or 20 sessions, your stem cell production uh, will go up. The stem cells are produced um, in the bone marrow and that's stimulated. Uh, they are also uh, mobilized. Uh, beautiful papers, tree papers showed that uh, stem cells are produced, they're mobilized and they're functioning. They, come, they go out in the body and start to regenerate tissue. And that process continues even after you have done the oxygen therapy. You may do 10 sessions on a daily basis, that would be two weeks of therapy, and then in the weeks thereafter, your stem cell production is still up, and your stem cells that you produced are now starting to work and do its job in the body. The oxygen therapy is a good way to give the optimal condition for the body to do its own healing. Remember on Thursday, I will be posting an ozone IV blog, just the same as I did with the hyperbaric oxygen chamber, so be aware that that's gonna be going up. I hope you enjoyed the video and it is of some help for someone out there. That is why I'm doing these videos. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.